yeah, I did change, and I'm really glad I changed. This one's wife is direct to me. Has she lied about giving birth? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. One of the most persistent rumours and allegations in relation to this one's wife appertains to the children, Archie and Lilibet. There are some people who believe that she gave birth to the two children and that they are kept away from the public eye as part of preserving their privacy and trying to ensure that they have a normal upbringing. There are others who believe that this one's wife didn't actually give birth to the children, that they exist, and that they are kept hidden because either this one's wife doesn't approve of them in some way, and or she doesn't want to be upstaged by them. There are many people who believe that the children came from a surrogate, and they believe that to be the case as a consequence of their belief that this one's wife faked the pregnancies as a consequence of the evidence that has been put forward in relation to the potential presence of what has been called the moon bumps, that in effect an area of her body kept shifting in shape, that the moon bump fell, dropped, was heard to drop, and so forth, which suggests that she wasn't actually pregnant. There are others who suggest that the children don't exist at all, that the pregnancies were faked, and that thereafter there have been fake presentation of children using either dolls, for instance, the suggestion that a doll was presented by Harry and this one's wife when they were with the late Queen Elizabeth and the late Duke of Edinburgh, that essentially they were as Tom Bauer described it, looking at a shawl. And, for instance, when this one's wife found the camera lens in Canada, that when she went for a walk with the dogs, that it was actually a doll that was strapped to her and not Archie. There are those also that believe that other people's children have played the part of Archie and Lilibet, and the reason why they are never seen and why the Sussexes regularly travel without them is because they don't exist. Thus, there are two considerable schools of thought that all link to the fact that this one's wife was never actually pregnant. Either she has children, but they came from a surrogate, or the children don't exist at all. You will be familiar with the different views that have been put forward by content creators across various platforms, and undoubtedly you'll have your own view as to the circumstances surrounding the children. I've explained previously that a narcissist may well be moved to not want to admit to the reality of what has occurred, that they may well fabricate the existence of a child, because after all, what's another lie to the narcissist? You, of course, can make your own mind up based upon the evidence that you've seen as to what you think the actual circumstances are. I've explained previously that in relation to children, they serve a purpose for the narcissist. There are some narcissists that don't have children, don't want them, aren't interested in them. Your glorious narrator is one of those. The fact is that those particular narcissists see children as problematic, a burden that they take attention away, i.e. divert the fuel unnecessarily, that they are a burden on the resources of the narcissist, that they potentially threaten control by stopping the narcissist being able to do things that they'd ordinarily like to do. And therefore, the narcissist sees no purpose in having children and doesn't bother with them. More commonly, the narcissist often has children either getting their partner pregnant or becoming pregnant, often with undue haste, as this is deemed as an excellent way of binding the intimate partner primary source to that narcissist. In the golden period, they look to impregnate or become impregnated because what says I love you more than wanting to have a child with somebody? And remember, during the golden period, the narcissist sees their partner as a wonderful person who they would love to have children with. And invariably, that person caught up in the love bombing thinks to themselves, gosh, they want to have children with me. They really do love me. They really want to 
have a relationship with me and often go along with it because they're so flattered and they end up, of course, blinded by their own emotional thinking. Thus, the children can then be utilised as little mirrors of the narcissist, that their extensions of the narcissist, that their achievements become commandeered by the narcissist, that they form part of the narcissist's facade as being an excellent family man or family woman. Certainly this one's wife is utilised, the children for, for facade management, by repeatedly making mention of them. But there has been some further information that you are probably familiar with that has been provided by her half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr., which has called into question the legitimacy of the claims that she was pregnant and raises the possibility that she actually lied about giving birth to both Archie and Lilibet. You'll recall, if you've had the misfortune to read Spare, that it was rather thin on the ground in relation to details. We were, of course, told about Harry toking on the nitrous oxide or whatever it was, and details about the actual birth were pretty scarce. Moreover, it's been repeatedly pointed out that this one's wife doesn't actually talk about the birth, whereas a narcissist would be more likely to want to go on and on about it, talking about how long it took, how painful it was, how joyous it was to have the children, etc., and really milk it for all it's worth, as if they were the only person who had ever given birth to children. And therefore, there is some force in the suggestion that because this one's wife has never spoken about that, which is unusual because she likes to opine on everything else that goes on, that this supports the fact that she didn't actually give birth. There are also, of course, a number of contradictions and queries in relation to announcements, the information that came from doctors and so forth, surrounding the birth of the two children, which many people have gone into and isn't necessary for me to detail today. Thus, this has all contributed to a mass of information and speculation that the births may not be as this one's wife has sought to suggest, i.e. that she gave birth to both of the children naturally. You will make your own mind up as to what you believe. But what is it that Thomas Markle has had to say? Well, let's have a look at the video clip. You know, why don't people come on here and say, please confirm that Megan gave birth in 1997? Seriously? Who gives a flying fuck? I mean, ask Megan. Seriously, ask Megan. All I can say about that is, is Trevor, her ex-husband, confirmed that she had a hysterectomy. So about giving birth, I have no idea. Maybe it was before, maybe, it, I don't know. You know, but Trevor said she had a hysterectomy, therefore, because it was a problem in their relationship and he wanted children. So it's out there, Google it. You know, everything is out there on Google, everything. Trevor put an article out there that Megan had a hysterectomy and couldn't have children. And that was a big issue in their relationship. So that says a lot to the fake royal kids right now because obviously they couldn't have come out of her. So that's something that she obviously is gonna have to deal with eventually, but the way a narcissist works, they'll never ever admit to anything, ever any wrongdoing, and they'll, tend, they'll tell 25 more lies. This video clip is pretty forthright, isn't it? It's stating that this one's wife had a hysterectomy, and therefore that means that she had a hysterectomy at some point, either prior to her relationship with Trevor Engelson or during her relationship with Trevor Engelson, and the consequence of that was that the two of them could not have children. And therefore, that means that Archie and Lilibet could not have been given birth to by this one's wife. Mr. Markle states, you know, why do people come on here and say, please confirm that this one's wife gave birth in 1997? Seriously, who gives a flying fuck? I mean, ask this one's wife. Seriously, ask this one's wife. All I can say about that is, is Trevor, her ex-husband, confirmed that she had a hysterectomy. So about giving birth, I have no idea. 
Maybe it was before, maybe I don't know, you know, but Trevor said she had a hysterectomy, therefore, because it was a problem in their relationship and he wanted children. So it's out there. Google it, you know. Everything is out there on Google. Google everything. Trevor put an article out there that this one's wife had a hysterectomy and couldn't have children, and that was a big issue in their relationship. So that says a lot to the fake royal kids right now, because obviously they couldn't have come out of her. So that's something that she obviously is going to have to deal with eventually. But the way a narcissist works, they'll never ever admit to anything ever, any wrongdoing, and they'll they'll tell 25 more lies. So it's interesting that he appreciates that she's a narcissist. And here is the clear suggestion that she has had her hysterectomy either prior to or during her relationship with Trevor Engelson. If that is correct, that means she could not have had Archie or Lilibet, which means then that she has lied about giving birth to them, and it also creates a complication in relation to the line of succession because they were not born of her body. This, of course, would prove to be a massive threat to this one's wife's control, to be exposed for having lied in this way, and also in relation to the birth of her children, and also in relation to the, the repercussions for the line of succession, would have huge ramifications. Were this treated seriously and confirmed, with the provision, for instance, of medical records, or even if Trevor Engelson was to confirm that that was the case, the ramifications would be huge, and it would result in considerable negative fuel flowing in the direction of this one's wife as she received condemnation but it would be challenge fuel because it would repeatedly threaten her need for control it would undoubtedly result in repercussions arising from the palace most likely also the stripping of titles in relation to archie and lilibet or at least them being removed from the line of succession the damage to status for this one's wife would be significant she wouldn't feel ashamed, because, of course, she doesn't experience shame or embarrassment, but it would all amount to an absolute tsunami of a shit show of a threat to control for her, and would likely cause her to either go on the offensive with legal proceedings, if there was any basis for doing so, or more likely to retreat and try and lay low. But, of course, that's all presuming that this information is accurate. Now, first of all, why would Trevor Engelson confirm to Thomas Markle Jr. that his wife, or ex-wife, had had a hysterectomy? Trevor Engelson has always behaved in a noble fashion when it comes to this one's wife, choosing to get on with his life and not talk about her. The most appropriate response, of course, when dealing with the narcissist, thus maintaining a no-contact regimen. He has never spoken about the relationship and undoubtedly has plenty of dirt that he could throw in the direction of this one's wife, but recognises that he's better off not doing so. He's better off leaving that unhappy episode in his life behind, because it will have been an unhappy episode, because he was married to a narcissist, and getting on with the fact that he has a beautiful, interesting, wealthy wife, and life is sweet for him. Why sour it by going on about a narcissist that he was once married to. Thus, Mr. Engelson has exhibited discretion and privacy in that regard, and therefore to suggest that he would have made mention of this to Thomas Markle Jr. at some point doesn't sit with his overall conduct. In fact, it doesn't appear that Thomas Markle Jr. is actually suggesting that Trevor told him directly, but rather that Trevor has put the information out there in an article. He doesn't actually explain which article it is and suggests that people Google it. But the fact is, again, for Trevor Engelson to put in an article that his ex-wife had had a hysterectomy and that caused a problem in their relationship because he wanted children, again, doesn't sit with the normal discreet and privacy approach that has, he has adopted. There is one possibility that a mistake is being made in relation to what actually happened. Namely, that Thomas Markle calls it a hysterectomy, but it might have been, to put it bluntly, that this one's wife had had her tubes tied because she didn't want children. A hysterectomy is a pretty radical procedure, whereas the 
more appropriate option, if you don't want children, is that you basically have your tubes tied. And it might be that he's confusing that she has done that with suggesting that there was a hysterectomy. The fact is, this one's wife having her tubes tied and then causing a problem in the relationship with Trevor Engelson because he wanted children they couldn't have them does have some credibility. Here's why. As I mentioned earlier, the narcissist will often use children as a means to ensnare the intimate partner primary source, a means of keeping control of the intimate partner primary source. Now, when it came to Trevor Engelson, this one's wife's narcissism didn't go down the route of children. Let us assume she was able to have them, but it didn't happen. Why? Well, it will have been the case that her narcissism would have identified that it wasn't required in order to control Trevor. He was already brought under control through other forms of manipulation. Furthermore, I suspect that the vanity of this one's wife as a somatic narcissist meant that she didn't want to have children because she didn't, in effect, want to cause a problem to her acting and modelling career. The fact is that by becoming pregnant once, twice, three times, not only would that affect her body quite obviously by carrying a child and the aftermath of it, but there's plenty of people who do it and who are models, etc., but her vanity as a narcissist may well have caused her to think, I don't want to have children, I don't want it affecting my body, it'll have an impact upon me in relation to my ability to be an actress, I won't get as many roles, it'll take me out of the game, the modelling that I do, the photo shoots that I do, it'll affect all of that. And remember, because her needs come first, even if Trevor wanted to have children with her and saying, I'd love for that to be the case, she's going to put her needs ahead of his and those of children, and therefore driven by the strong narcissistic trait of vanity, which we know that she has, it's highly likely that she would not want children. Furthermore, she wouldn't want the distraction of them. She wouldn't want the responsibility associated with them. And therefore, that all points to the likelihood that she wouldn't want children. Now, that doesn't mean, of course, that she would go so far as to have her tubes tied. She may simply have utilised contraception, refused to have children, and therefore ensured that she could not have done. But it might also have been the possibility that she'd had her tubes tied because she didn't want children, for the reasons that I've just explained. And that is what reference has been made to, and Thomas Markle Jr. has misunderstood that procedure and described it as a hysterectomy instead. He has put it out there that she's had a hysterectomy. He's put it out there to suggest that there's the fake royal kids, and he suggests that it's something that she's going to have to deal with eventually. Naturally, she wouldn't admit it if it were the case, because of the impact that it would have, and as he points out, a narcissist will never admit to anything. Well, that's not quite right. A narcissist may admit to something by way of false contrition and may admit to something if the narcissism deems that it is appropriate to make an admission, but it's never a genuine one. It's self-serving. Certainly if, and this is a big if, she had had a hysterectomy and had not given birth to these children, she's not going to admit it for the reasons that I've explained earlier. It does seem to my mind odd that Trevor Engelson would make such a suggestion of this having happened and share this information given the way that he's been so discreet. And this may well just be simply a case of Thomas Markle attention-seeking and shit-stirring in relation to this one's wife. Or there could be some credibility in it. As I've explained, there are certain clear grounds for this one's wife not to want to have children because of the threat to control that they would pose to her in relation to her acting career, such as it was, and her modelling and doing photo shoots, etc. This might then ask, cause you to ask, OK, HG, that makes sense to me that she wouldn't want to have children for the reasons that you've explained because of the threat to control in relation to her career and the general threat to control in having to be responsible for a couple of crotch goblins. But then why would she want to have children with Harry or at least make it look like she's had children with Harry? Well, the answer to that, of course, is the narcissist is perfectly capable of changing their position later. If, 
and again I repeat this is a big if, that it is correct that she's either had a hysterectomy or had had her tubes tied so she couldn't have children, her narcissism would de has deemed that in the case of Trevor Engelson, I don't need to have children with him, he's under control, I don't want to have children because of the impact that it'll have upon my career and the modelling and the photo shoots, etc. Children are a pain in the ass in relation to responsibility, etc. And subconsciously, all of this amounts to a threat to control. Yet with Harry, the narcissism may well have identified in order to maintain control over him, we need to have children with him. On this occasion, it deems that that's what's required. And therefore, in order to do that, to control him, to control other members of the royal family, to maintain a facade, the narcissism decides in these circumstances that having children is appropriate. Thus, let us assume that this one's wife has always had the ability to have children. Her narcissism dictates it's not appropriate when she's with Trevor Engelson, deems it is appropriate with Prince Harry for the reasons that I've just explained, because it's a means of asserting control over him and facade management, and the residual benefits in relation to having two children that are royal, that can be used to her advantage by way of triangulation and character trait acquisition, etc. Therefore, she has children with Prince Harry. The narcissist changes position to suit their own needs. If you don't believe that she had the capability to have children, for whatever reason that might be, advanced age, having had her hysterectomy, having had the old tubes tied, then, of course, a narcissist would still deem that it would be appropriate to have children for the reasons that I've just explained, and therefore would utilise alternative methods to bring those children into being. Thus, this is why the narcissist position shifts, why children, either the absence of them or the presence of them, has such a material impact on the narcissist's needs for the prime aims. And we have an interesting discussion point revolving around the latest video evidence that has been provided by Thomas Markle Jr. As ever, I link it all to the issue of narcissism, but what do you think about this suggestion that she's had a hysterectomy? Do you believe that it's true? Do you believe that Trevor Engelson would place this in an article and that Thomas Markle has seized upon this to air that and confirm that, in effect, this one's wife has lied about having the children? Do you believe that she hasn't been able to have the children, but Trevor Engelson hasn't said something? Or do you think that she has had the children and this is a load of attention seeking being generated by Thomas Markle Jr and Trevor Engelson would not be so indiscreet as to make mention of something that either did or did not happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'm HG Tudor. Thank you for watching.